Uganda is currently categorized under the gray list of countries that have failed to put in place measures that can effectively prevent financial crimes. This after the country failed to comply with the requirements of the Financial Action Task Force, a global intergovernment organization on the initiative of G7 countries to develop policies to combat money laundering and terrorism financing since 2018. With a new date of 3rd September for the country to be blacklisted, especially from the international financial transactions and investments, government is now racing against time. The Attorney General Kiyowachiwanuka tabled seven bills seeking to address the concerns raised by the Financial Action Task Force. The bills include the Trustees Incorporations Amendment Bill 2022, the Anti-Terrorism Amendment Bill, the Anti-Money Laundering Amendment Bill, the Cooperative Society Amendment Bill, the Partnerships Amendment Bill, the Companies Amendment Bill, and the Insolvency Amendment Bill. In today's sitting, Deputy Speaker Thomas Taebua painted a picture of the difficult position the country finds itself in. Therefore, all our country is duty to do our part as a legislator. Now, one might say, why did the executive delay? Why? That's not my concern. My concern is now us doing our part. And we strongly, you know, we had a wrong meeting and these are areas we looked at and we said if we fall into a brain game, our country might be blacklisted and you end up finding that no investor can either get money here or take it out or even you yourselves, your cards might be deactivated. We will neither be able to send money out or receive anything. And I would want to urge my colleagues that if there is any time in our history to burn night candles, to work overdrive, to get these bills done, this is now the time. The committees have been directed to hold joint meetings under the supervision of a government task force headed by the Attorney General to beat the deadline. Some of these bills seek to amend only two clauses. If you got copies of the, of the bills, it's two clauses... Uh, three clauses, and most of them we are domesticating international uh, clauses. So, uh, for example, on, on the clause for beneficial ownership, it's cutting across all bills. And we are the Deputy Speaker has also hinted on having a special sitting before 3rd September if the country is to be safe from being blacklisted. Most likely, uh, which we shall be communicating, we are most likely coming here on Monday to consider those bills because in one day you can finish them. It's not big. Apart from the company's amendment bill and the insolvency amendment bill. The committees will start meeting the stakeholders tomorrow. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.